Moved in with my sister, yeah. And that was when I met Ryan Simonetti, the skater. The skater, oh, yeah. Wow. And yeah. that was when that that was when like I really fucking got serious about paying my dues and, and like it's like okay, I'm not good at anything, but if I if I'm just fucking crazier than everyone. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he was a full blown skater. He was yeah, doing he it. He was legit. He was doing he it. He was legit. So I kind of gave up on like trying so hard at skating and i would be like okay i would come up with these ideas for us to do stunts together and like the handstand down the thing and him ollieing through your legs and shit Uh uh-huh and it was like once i was living with my sister i had a deal that with my dad that like he would pay my half of the rent if i was in school and got nothing below a b which I accomplished. Oh, you did? Yeah, and anything beyond that, like if I wanted to eat or <laughs> like, like I had to work, <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 which I Which I did. Uh, <laughs> and um, th- then I found out about clown college because my sister was like taking a shit at work and this book of trivia, <laughs> she's reading this book of trivia and it said, what college has no tuition? And it says Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College like tuition is free if you can get in. And my sister was like, this is perfect for my brother. He wants to be the stunt guy. Yeah. He wants to be the stunt guy. And like, you know, it's, maybe he's a clown who knows. <laughs> and so I found out about that and I thought, well, shit, if, uh, you know, if, if I was a trained circus professional graduate of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College, then people would take me more seriously as a stunt. That's man. the biggest yeah. circus ever. Yeah. It's the biggest circus around. Right. And uh, after I applied, but before I found out I got accepted, Big Brother magazine came through, the skateboard magazine, Big Brother. And this is all in Albuquerque. Uh-huh. Okay. It was in Albuquerque. And I was like, I don't care if you guys like me, I'm, you're going to fucking put me in the magazine. <laughs> I love Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I set my hair on fire and I had Mark. Markovich blow this fireball off my head, but he blew it straight into my face. <laughs> and my plan was to have a fireball blown off my head while my head was on fire and reach my hand into the fire, which my hand was doused in alcohol. And mm-hmm. so then my hand would be on, and I had my own mouth of alcohol. And so then I'm going to do a f- simultaneous fire breathing backflip all in one sequence of just oh, stupidity. Sure. Jeez. And Markovich blows the fireball into my face. So my head like entirely oh, shoulders and up was engulfed in flames. <laughs> and I'm thinking, fuck, I better hurry up and do this backflip. <laughs> <laughs> so I do this fight and I come up short and I'm oh, like no. flailing through the backyard while my fucking, I'm getting burns all over my face. And uh, ended up in the hospital, oh. my fucking second degree burns on half my face Dude. and like was still like in, in like rough shape with these burns where like my, it was ooze like pus and shit. And then I, in the morning I have to peel my pillow off my face. Oh my God. And I was in that shape when I got the call from clown college, like, Hey, you got in and we're <laughs> really excited about it. We're going to wave your your uh the what, what the little thing we the would feed. charge for your costume to be made you are know? you did you and send the, him a sponsor me video oh my God, or how that's did you where i sent a sponsor <laughs> okay you <laughs> sent a sponsor me to clown I, college I, I, did. I put together my application for clown college like like i like i meant business and uh, were you like by the way i was wasted in half of these clips that i sent i had two versions of oh. of, of my reel okay. there was like the the uh pretty impressive stuff you know, even <laughs> even if a little crazy, and then there was the like drinking bong water and oh, like yeah. you know like all the the stuff that that wasn't necessarily helpful on a professional level. You left that off of the but help you forget. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you put a song to it or anything, or it was just yeah, footage? everything you, had like you know mm. it was shitty VCR to VCR, <laughs> but everything was. Uh, with like had soundtrack, but it's rad because you learned that from skateboarding. You oh, learned how to do the yeah. thing, how to edit a video. I learned everything that I needed to know from skateboarding. <laughs> the thing that trips me out that the thing that trips me out is like you graduated right from from, um, from circuit from the from their school. <clears throat> yeah, but I didn't get a contract. How does that work? You graduate from their college, from their clown college, and then you don't even get hired. Right, and and that's by design. Um, oh, the. Uh, it's it's like like widely known that and, and probably widely known because I say it so much but <laughs> the, the um statistically speaking it was harder to get into clown college than Harvard based on like that and, and I made a clown video about my clown career okay <laughs> my editor like dug up all these statistics and and some like five percent of applicants to Harvard get in um but uh like <clears throat> 
more like one percent of applicants got into clown college. I didn't what? realize that so many people want to go to clown college. <clears throat> yeah, they they had auditions everywhere the circus went, and there were two units of the circus, so like it was like a hundred cities. Oh. And at the end of the day, thirty three clowns got in. Wow. What? And after clown college graduation, only ten of the thirty three clowns got contracts. Wow. How and much does a clown get paid? Do you know? At, I mean, they, it's, they, it's, at it's, the time, the the job on the Ringling Circus was. Yeah. Maybe two hundred and fifty bucks per week, and like you worked fifty out of fifty-two weeks per year, okay. and you lived in like a like your room on the train. You couldn't even call it a room; it was like six by three. Oh. Right, right, you know, right, right. Like, and I was heartbroken when I didn't get picked because it was in short order when I showed up at Clown College, and like mm. I would, we would train fourteen hours a day, and then I would start drinking and getting loaded and doing all my dumb shit, and like <laughs> the first week. I had to get my head stapled together because I was skating and then, you know, all I down these stairs and hit my head on this like cement, like beam. Oh. And like, I had to get five staples in my head and it sucked because it's like, what are you doing? You know, it's <laughs> like you're coming in getting, but you're coming in fucked up every day. Yeah. What are you like? What are you doing? This is a big opportunity. Like mm -hmm. everyone else is taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. We got to bring you to the fucking hospital drunk, oh you know? My God. And so I got in my own way a little bit, Right. <laughs> but just as well, because you know, if I'd gone off to who knows, who knows, right. You could have still been, did, did you learn <laughs> a lot of stuff? Did you learn a lot of, uh, a, abilities and different things in clown college the only thing that you had to learn was stilt walking like you had to be a stilt walker you had to learn stilt walking everything else by the time you were in clown college was just sort of an exercise in making you like as impressive as you could be like whatever your strengths were they were happy to play to that mm -hmm. but they just wanted you to be like the most entertaining version of yourself that you could yeah to me clowns are more mannerisms like how they go and act um, and how they move their bodies and stuff yep yeah and, i mean there's different components but yeah there's yeah. acrobatics there's yeah. skills mm -hmm. there's just plain mannerisms they're just generally being funny right right I, I turned my focus to skills you know yeah more than anything huh i mean yeah I, I i had never wanted to be a clown i wanted to be a stunt man and that was why i was there but by the time we got through it like I'd fallen in love with the dream. Yeah. And, uh, and I didn't, so I went back to Albuquerque to live with my sister and sell drugs. And I had this like super expensive closet hanging in or it's, it's expensive costume hanging in the closet and nothing to wear it for. And oh my that God. was when I just fucking went to war with the, the fire stunts. Oh, seriously. <laughs>